today in Catholic education, I think it's really important that we be extremely innovative and we have to be audacious because right now there is so much competition in the marketplace. So it's very important that you really have a value added to what you're offering. One, clearly our mission is to help students encounter Christ. But secondly, as important, is to have the students really develop a strong academic background. And what we're trying to do through the academy is really provide opportunities for students that they're not gonna get in other educational sectors. The innovative and effective transformative practices of the Academy will help prepare students to meet the educational and workforce needs of the 21st century in an intentionally Christ-centered atmosphere. The needs of our student learners have changed so dramatically over the last decade. Blended and personalized learning is a national model of instruction and research really supports the great growth achievements that students can make when following this model of instruction. In general, in a classroom setting of 20 students, about a third of them need to know the information that the teacher is going to provide. About a third already know it, and about a third still won't understand it once it's delivered. A personalized model of instruction allows us to look at all of those students as individuals and to not deliver the content in the same way at the same time for everyone, but to deliver it to them in a way that they will understand and to ensure through technology and through personal attention by the teacher that they will understand it and be able to have the knowledge and skills that they need to move forward. Studies show that the benefits of a blended learning experience are that 83% of school leaders see an increase in student engagement, 90% of teachers feel more effective, 95% of district leaders see their teachers innovate more, there is an 18-point improvement in math proficiency, and a 17-point improvement in English language arts proficiency. Equally important to the Academy's mission is to offer tools and resources to students who have learning differences. In this way, all students can have the same superlative Catholic school experience. My personal story is that I have three boys and one of them does have a learning difference and that one had to take a different road than the other two. He was not afforded the same education as his brothers because Catholic schools didn't have supports in place. So that never sat well with me and I said someday um, I will make a change. If you have special education supports in place at the academy, then you're really able to service all your students that come through that door, whether they have dyslexia, dysgraphia, ADHD, any type of difference. You'll have a support team in place that is trained and knows how to teach these children. To really look at the child holistically, to look at what they're good at and build upon that and get their self-esteem up and let them know that they're valued for their strengths. Studies show that we're in a population decrease, yet the demand for STEM-related jobs continues to grow. Thus, the Academy will develop critical thinking and problem-solving skills our students will need to succeed at the jobs of the future. These skills are not only necessary in STEM-related fields, but also jobs that leverage technology within other industries. It's important to focus on STEM fields because that's where our economy is headed. We need to have students who are critical thinkers. We need to have students who are creative. We need to have students who write well. And so if you maintain a commitment to those areas and then you bring in a STEM curriculum, you're really preparing students well for jobs in the future. Not only are you preparing them for college level education, but you're preparing them for the workforce. Here at Conley, we have so many great Christian Catholic roots. We're not only hearers, but doers of the word. That's our motto. And through private donors or people who want to invest in the school, we get to have great technologies for our STEM fields. And I think it's just a great opportunity. As the Academy's success builds, we expect that the doors of opportunity will open exponentially to all sorts of creative and exciting programs that touch on other areas, such as history, fine arts, and social sciences. When you look at the higher ed partnerships, when a student or a family might combine dual enrollment credits with summer scholars credits, a family could potentially save an entire year off of the college tuition bill. These are college credits that are showing up on a transcript as if a student came to the college and can be transferred to other institutions should the student choose not to attend one of the higher ed partners of the academy. 
Research shows that when students complete early college credits, they're more likely to succeed in college, they're more likely to persist, and they're more likely to finish on time. And all of those are great value propositions for families trying to manage the cost of higher education. It's important to start critical skill building early on, as early as middle school, because you are going to be carrying that with you through high school, through college, and then eventually your profession. So I feel like if you learn it early on, you're gonna be able to apply it much easier later on in your career. Critical thinking skills help in my profession because it allows me to break down problems that are presented to me into more manageable parts. So if I get this patient that is very complex, I have to learn how to break it down so that I can manage each part of this pa these patients' problems so I can move forward into solving what it is that they have in order to treat them better. The beauty of working as part of a team is kids get to see other kids' skills and talents where they might never have seen that before. And so hopefully by working together, they can appreciate one another's talents and at the same time realize that the best solution comes from a combination of ideas. I've actually seen research that has shown that when you have young children and you have adults that are trying the same engineering <laughs> challenge, the children do better because they haven't been convinced that, that different things are not possible. We are very fortunate to have forward-thinking visionaries such as the Carney Family Foundation to help transform these ideas into reality. So it's important for parents to consider the academy when they're looking for an experience for their child because the academy is grounded in philosophy of the diocese that is very important, much like Regis College where we focus on things like ethics and social justice. That is part of the root of all the academic offerings that the Academy offers. When you come into our schools, you become part of our family. So you really have not only the family at home, but you have the Catholic school family that's going to take care of your son or daughter. They're going to look at your son or daughter in a unique way. No matter what type of skill set your son or daughter may have, we're going to develop a program that enhances their giftedness. The Rebuild and Hope initiative for our diocese is a process of revitalizing the whole diocese, all our institutions, the diocese as a whole, and the parishes, and the schools, and all the ministries and services we provide to the people. Well, if we strengthen our Catholic schools, we will strengthen our parishes, and therefore we will strengthen the diocese. Inspiring innovation while nurturing the soul.